60-40 lead. And just as when we pulled it apart, what I like to do is start by just heating up the pipe itself. I try to keep as much of the flames away from the flames as I can. And just gradually just start kind of feeling your way in there. And when it gets hot enough, you'll see the lead start to melt, as you see it right there. Just kind of melt, just kind of push it up in there. Try to seal all those cracks up in there. And I always like to start at the bottom because if you start at the top, uh, when you get back down to the bottom, you'll remelt what you put in there because the heat will rise. So just kind of start at the bottom and work your way up slowly to the top. See how I'm constantly just pushing the lead up in there? Just the bar is just melting. It's going to look rough at the beginning. But what we're going to do is, once we get it to where we want it and seal good enough, we're going to use a rag and kind of smooth it out and push it back in there and just have a nice, clean, smooth joint. So don't worry about what it looks like right now. You notice I'm putting the flames directly on it and then constantly pulling it away, give it a chance to cool down so that the uh, lead won't run everywhere. Okay. Now we're going to uh, wipe it. And remember, we're going to wipe it in to the fitting itself. There you go. Now it looks like a lot more of a smoother look. And one other thing we like to do is just take a normal candle and if there's any any voids anywhere this candle the the wax from this candle will fill the voids and usually just use the candle when the uh, of course when the uh, pipe is rather warm just melts in there and any voids that might be in there will seal it up nice and tight we'll keep it from leaking tools and things you will need when soldering copper pipe. First of all, if you're going to do a lot of uh, copper pipe soldering, you're going to need a 
nice size settling tank as, like this one right here with the gauge. This will be good for a uh, soldering pipe. The acetylene will get a lot hotter than the uh, propane tank, the smaller ones that they sell in the store, and it will get the job done a lot faster and neater. And if you don't have any large jobs, you got a small job you want to do, you might want to go out and buy a kit like this for about 20 bucks. Uh, this is a butte um, propane tank that has all the attachments and the solder and the flux to it. Okay, and you're going to need a pair of channel lock pliers. Uh, I use it a lot to crimp my uh, copper fittings and fiberglass mash so that you can clean the uh, outside of the copper pipe. Flux. This is a no corrode flux. This is the type of flux you want to use to wipe the uh, copper pipe. And solder lead free solder make sure that it's lead free solder because you have water going through it and you don't want any lead content okay and here we have the small mini cutters this is for the small little areas that you have a hard time getting to so and we have the uh, regular size cutters which will cut up to one inch of pipe and you're going to need a half inch and three quarter inch wire brush this is to clean the inside of the fitting and when you're wiping lead, a lead arm into a bath sink or anything like that, kitchen sink, this is 60-40 lead bar that's used to re-wipe the uh, lead back onto the uh, pipe. 